Hello everyone. Today, we're delving deep into the realm of a medication called ranitidine. As always, the information provided is purely for educational intentions. If you have health-related inquiries or doubts, always connect with a medical professional. Description Ranitidine, widely recognized under brand names such as Zantac, is an oral tablet categorized as an H2 antagonist. Its principal role is to decrease the amount of acid your stomach produces. Initially, this medicine was used extensively to treat and prevent ulcers in the stomach and intestines. Moreover, it's been prescribed to treat conditions in which the stomach produces too much acid, such as zollinger ellison syndrome. Ranitidine also treats gastroesophageal reflux disease, GERD, and other conditions in which acid backs up from the stomach into the esophagus, causing heartburn. Warnings As with any medication, there are certain precautions associated with ranitidine. Notably, the FDA has found small amounts of a probable carcinogen in some ranitidine products. Hence, multiple ranitidine products have been recalled and removed from the market. If you've been taking ranitidine and are concerned about its effects or the recall, consult your healthcare provider for alternatives. Before taking this medicine Before initiating ranitidine treatment, several factors demand attention. Firstly, notify your healthcare provider if you're allergic to the drug or any other substances. People with certain conditions, such as kidney or liver disease, porphyria, or phenylketonuria, should discuss potential risks and benefits with their doctor. Pregnant or breastfeeding women or those planning a pregnancy need to consult with their healthcare provider before starting ranitidine. Additionally, inform your doctor if you have ever had pneumonia or other lung diseases, a weakened immune system, or if you are HIV positive. You should not take ranitidine if you're allergic to it or if you have trouble or pain with swallowing food, vomiting with blood, or bloody or black stools. These could be signs of a serious condition that needs treatment with a different type of medication. Side Effects Every medication can exhibit side effects, and ranitidine is no different. Some individuals might experience headaches, stomach pain, or constipation. Serious side effects include chest pain, severe stomach pain, dark urine, or jaundice. It's crucial to stay alert for any unusual reactions and consult your healthcare provider if you observe any. Furthermore, a severe allergic reaction to ranitidine is rare. However, get medical help right away if you notice any symptoms of a severe allergic reaction, including rash, itching slash swelling, especially of the face slash tongue slash throat, severe dizziness, or trouble breathing. Interactions Ranitidine might have interactions with other medications. Always inform your physician about all the drugs you're currently on, including over-the-counter medications, vitamins, and herbal products, to prevent any possible adverse reactions. Dosage Proper dosage is paramount for the efficacy of any medication. Always adhere to your healthcare provider's guidelines when consuming ranitidine. The recommended dose and frequency will differ based on the specific condition being treated. It's essential never to adjust your dosage without consulting your healthcare provider. Avoid. It's advisable not to consume alcohol when on ranitidine, as it can increase the risk of damage to your stomach. Similarly, it's wise to avoid foods or drinks that could exacerbate your condition, such as those that cause heartburn. FAQ. A frequent query about ranitidine is its safety during pregnancy. While it's generally believed to be safe during pregnancy, it's always best to consult with a healthcare provider for specific queries concerning this medication. Closing. This concludes our overview of ranitidine. Bear in mind, this content serves an educational purpose and isn't a replacement for expert medical counsel. Always engage with a healthcare specialist for any doubts or concerns. Thank you for your attention.